Now, we saw the L-square algorithm, how bad it can really perform when n is going bigger and bigger. Sure. We are forced to think of better algorithms than n-square. Sure. So let's go into the idea number one to see is there any inefficiency we can able to discover it up which can lead to the better solutions here. If you look at the idea one, we take the element one, we are comparing with what they call all forward elements now. That scan, that is where that comparison become very, very large and giving n square. I mean, whenever this kind of uh, linear search you are doing it up, one of the key ideas we can always bring it up is sort. If you sort the array, does it really offer, uh, you know, any betterness? If you really observe it up, when you sort the array here, wherever a duplicate is available, they come, they come up adjacent, uh, you know, they all comes up in a, in a sequence now. When they come up a sequence, one scan through the array will exactly gives up with adjacent element comparison, what could be the duplicate here. That's why, let's adapt the sorting strategy here. Then we do, you know, adjacent checks uh, instead of doing up all these checks now, which we are doing in a solution one, might offer a betterness. But let's look at the idea first, then we analyze it up to see is it better than this or not. Let me write this as solution number two. Let me take the input again here. 1, 4, 6, 7, 8, 3, 2, 5, 5. Let me start this here. You get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, 6, 7, 8. Now here, you got to find a duplicate. Now, I just compare adjacent elements now. I compare 1 with 2, it's not there. 2 with 3, not there. 3 with 4, no. Again, no. 5, 5. We got a match. Written 5 as duplicate. That means sorting definitely really makes our life comfortable, but you got to spend that extra time also here. So this is what we call idea number two. Since sorting is one of the, uh, you know, part of this total algorithm here, and, and after sorting, we are doing some specific work based on uh, what they call problem. So this, I don't call this pattern, instead I call it as a strategy called ad hoc. So here, the strategy is sort followed by scan. That's why let me label this as a sort plus scan strategy. And it is specific to the problem. It may not be a more generalizable thing here. Hence, I'm using a name called ad hoc. Now, so this is what uh, solution now. How do we know that? Is it better that than previous one? We saw from previous videos, whenever you want to know when algorithm is good or bad, the only thing we need to do here is analyze. The dimensions, two dimensions, if you analyze, we can easily compare those, di those metrics now. We can conclude which is better. Let me do that. Without writing code, let me do theoretical analysis. What is time complexity? What is space complexity? Again, the, the core operation, low level operation and core operation. Here, first we are doing sorting in Asia. How much uh, time any sorting algorithm, best sorting algorithms available uh, for us will take it up? Till now, we haven't seen sorting problem. Later, we are going to discuss it up. Until that, we assume that as a black box, that will be, that will be a n log n shape. So sorting algorithm, the best sorting algorithm, we are going to see later videos now. We'll take n log n comparison shape. Plus black box because still we don't we haven't discussed. But after sorting, what else we are doing here? On scan, we are doing here. We are comparing adjacent elements now. How many components required in the worst case? Always worst case is guaranteed performance. That's where. So this guy we are comparing, this guy we are comparing, this guy, except first element, we are doing what they call, except the last element, we are doing what they call one, one component per element here. That means maximum we require n minus one. Again, unit is the low level operation is CMP here. Comparison. Overall, the notation we know from again previous videos, how do we really express this? So definitely big O of n log n here. And here we can also write this as the theta. Now space complexity, to express this idea, sorting we can do without any extra space. Again, we'll see later videos, this idea of space complexity. Now, for doing this so-called adjacent checks now, we need just one uh, scan through that, maybe adjacent element with so constant variables, we can do that. That's why we write it as C units now. That's where we call this as big of one. That's why solution two, time complex is state of n log n, space is big of one. Now let's compare solution one and two, n multiplied by n versus n multiplied by log n. So log n is a so small number for bigger and bigger values here. So in theory, we can able to, uh, now we can say, we can conclude now that n log n algorithm definitely better than n square algorithm here. 
space wise there again both are constant uh, units of space here so that's why n log n is definitely good but how much good it is only when we really experience this n log n we get a more crystal clear clarity on so is n log n algorithm is acceptable for practical you know sizes of n uh, practical sizes n when it goes to millions hundreds of millions now will it be a scalable solution or not let's move on to the coding to experience n log n algorithm So let's see how we can able to express this algorithm number two in Java programming language. So let me copy prototype of this specific uh, method innovation. This algorithm, sorry. Now let me name this as find duplicate two. So the first step in find duplicate two is sort it. That's where I'm going to do arrays dot sort. So parallel sort. we are not using later sessions we'll talk about that currently sort of array is in shape that's the first step we do in algorithm 2 after sorting all we got to adjust and comparison you can start from first element you can compare to the you know its next element or you can start with the second element you can come you can compare you know the element which comes just before it doesn't matter which way you do adjust and comparison so i just start from what they call integer i equal to 1 i less than in dot length here plus plus i now if in of i current uh, element means i index element is equal to in of i minus 1 end of this we return that element if nowhere we got this it cannot happen in this case but for compiler error to overcome that i need to write some dummy return statement integer dot min value so this is what we are going to have to just format it now let's test this again while doing test case we need to build worst case scenario for that algorithm here that gives guaranteed performance different algorithms the the worst case could be different inputs now let's let's think of what could be the worst case for this so we are doing sorting and we are doing scanning here so sorting we want force the algorithm to take as much time as possible but if you look at our the test case we are used for algorithm 1 we as input we have already given sorted uh, you know input uh, sorted numbers and avisha some algorithms uh, might do very very fast on sorted input here maybe if you can able to recall tweak the uh, you know uh, that kind of data little bit random or a, you know some other order we can force the algorithm to take what they call maximum amount of time then our scan we want to force the algorithm to take till end of it that's where let me let me build a slightly different test case to to really what they call make this uh, you know algorithm to to perform you know worst worst case possible way so that's where i'm writing up test case one let me try test case one what's the problem with test case one other then we can think of uh, you know other alternate let me just do one change find duplicate two Uh, so let me run this is this correctness or not how do we know here let me run configurations let me give small size before going for file act 10 apply run now you can see it's clearly giving 9 we know that that's what expect the output here. run configurations let me do the correctness testing for 100 size apply run So 99, we got this this much. Now, since we know that this guy is working fine, let me test for scale. So previously we couldn't really get good performance for five lakhs. I'm just giving up. So 50,000 then five lakh. Apply range. You can see 0.012 here. You can compare this with you know what we got for n square algorithm here. So five lakh seems to be what do you call this algorithm is super fast now let me make this as 10 lakh or 1 million apply run so again 0.014 so super fast so this is where i am doubting it up because uh, the sorting algorithm because i am giving sorted input let me display the array also you can see the input is sorted array here 
So I'm doubting that we are not really forcing the sorting algorithm to take worst case possible time. So hence I'm I'm trying to build other test case. Test case two, where I want to give up in a descending order here. We'll force it, or you can think of a random. So here, let me try what they call descending order here. N minus so i minus one. That means I'm filling up n in this case is in dot length here. So here in zeroth slot, what are you doing here? N minus so n minus i n minus one minus i. Let me give it up, which gives you better understanding. So n minus one. If I take five elements now, five minus one is four, because our range is one to four. When i is zero, so first slot we are storing four. When i equal to one three, we are keeping like elements in a descending order. But you got to repeat that. Since my aim is to force what they call scan also worst case now last element I'm going to fill it up with again n minus one only that means length minus one so this I'm hoping that my sorting algorithm we are forcing it if still sorting algorithm is doing very good on this kind of special input because this is not a descending order anyway the last element is not in the order anyway the last element is disturbing the order anyway I'm hoping that sorting algorithm will take definitely it's you know much more time. Or you can try different kind of random cases also to get more accurate understanding about, uh, you know, the performance here. So let me do test case. Let me run this test case to change this test case one to two. Duplicate. To, I'm testing it out. Run this. Uh, this display is a painful thing. Let me comment this display statement here. Now let me run this. So the duplicate is exactly same but timing is 0 0.03 now slightly more so that's what now let me run for little bigger run configurations we got 1 million now let me try 10 million 10 million apply run shift. 0 0.117 let me write this so that later we can able to see we can able to compare so 10 million so let me take console shim. So 0 0.117. 0 0.117. 117. Second C. Now let me try 100 million. Run configurations now. Let me give 100 million so Apply the run. So yes, we need to save it. Now you can see 0 0.57. 100 million so 0 0.57 seconds so that's what we see now let's try it more bigger size 100 million i'm making 1000 million which is nothing but 1 billion so apply run so let's see what will happen to this method now you can see it is saying that out of memory error heap space we'll talk about this uh, memory memory is available for the running program in other videos here but you can try to increase the heap space you know by using some arguments here even if run it up i'm sure so for a little more increase in size here this heap space is going to you know uh, is a problem here how to deal with this heap space problem later we are going to see clearly you can see that the sort it is used by Java quick sort algorithm is really getting a trouble of what they call not having enough space. So, but anyway, so we keep for 100 million testing anyway here. If you want to go beyond 100 million here, we need to think of an alternatives now. But as far as uh, what they call this algorithm is concerned, this is far far better than what they call my solution number one. But is there any other better way? Even you can say 100 million 0 0.57, almost half a second. So 10 million 0 0.117 is any way we can do much faster than this. Let's discuss about that. So if the theoretical ideas really convince us, then we'll, we'll try to you know, explore those ideas also.